Hi, Matt Miller, proud superintendent of Lakota Schools. Just a few updates for our community today. Principals have communicated with their families specific instructions regarding locker cleanout and picking up of personal belongings. Seniors should plan to return their Chromebooks when they clean out their lockers. If the Chromebook is needed to finish assignments or for the AP exams, please make arrangements for your school. For all other grades, please hold on to your Chromebooks over the summer. If you know that you will not be turn returning to Lakota in the fall, we ask that you make arrangements with your principal to return your device. In terms of extended school year, for students who qualify, it has been determined that extended school year will be held remotely during June 8th through July 17th. In regards to meal distribution, meal distribution will continue through May 20th with a few modifications. In addition to our six community locations, meals may be picked up at Hopewell ECS, Liberty Junior, and West Freshman. Some times have also changed slightly. Visit LakotaOnline.com to stay up to date. Our summer meal service will begin on May 27th. In terms of graduation, last week we announced plans to celebrate our seniors. We have taken the suggestions we heard and are working on a more robust celebration for our students. We will share updated plans once we have final confirmation from the Butler County Health Commissioner and that should be coming very soon. Also in regards to graduation and to honor our seniors, help us light the path for our seniors. We're encouraging our community to wrap a ribbon around a tree or a light post in their front yards and turn on the front porch light at 8.20 p.m. on what should have been our graduation ceremonies, May 20th for West and May 22nd for East. 8.20 is 2020 in military time, so please help, help me and help the rest of the district honor our seniors in that way as well. In terms of budget cuts, Governor DeWine announced significant cuts to education this week to the tune of about $355 million for K-12 education over the next two months. We, are, we were anticipating reductions to our state funding, and I think that'll be happening again this fall with additional cuts as well as our economy tries to get back on track once we open. Jenny Logan, our school treasurer, and her team are still reviewing the details of those cuts and will be adjusting accordingly our financial outlook. Well, this will be challenging to us. Lakota has never had a stronger cash position than we have right now. So we will be affected and impacted, but there are a lot of districts around us that will be hurt more than we are. While it will be difficult, again, we are much better prepared today than when we were during the Great Recession. So I just wanted to mention that as well. I hope you and your families are all healthy and as we wind down this school year and look to celebrate our seniors accordingly with graduation coming up, that announcement should be coming out next week. I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you for your continued support of Lakota students and our school district.